Allah says in the Quran, do not get divided among yourselves. There is a message to us. Imagine how many Muslims are living in the world. Around 2 billion, roughly, who are filling the census forms and even practicing lumped up together 1.9 or 2 billion Muslims in the world. Do we have any saints? Do we have any standings? Do we have any morality in us? You see, if you lose morality, it becomes rascality. You have to have morality in you so you can deliver the message to the rest of the world. Why Allah has chosen us? Allah chose you know, this is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see Russia right now. Same 1262 siege of Baghdad. These Mongols, they attacked and they captured Muslims. Uh, they say 600,000 or more than that. Muslims were butchered and killed. Massacre. Dramatic enough. We don't know the exact rate. But... Jangesh Khan with his army, he came and attacked Muslim lands. And then what happened? Nobody was there. Four families of this generation, Mongols, they spread the rest of the world. Turke Temur, he went to India. India ruled for Mughal Empire. Turke Osmani went to Turkey, Kustantunia. Then Turke Seljuki went to Egypt. And Turke Safavid went to Iran. All these people spread the rest of the whole world. Islam. Why? Because Allah changed their hearts and they didn't do anything. They, like like uh, the other people didn't do anything to convert or revert them. Allah changed their hearts and then they proselytized the word of God and they made the biggest empire in the Muslim history. Who did it? Yastabdil qawmin ghayrukum thumma la yakunu amthalukum surah Muhammad chapter 47 last verse Allah says, O oh Muslim, if you do your work niggardly, I will substitute with the other nation and that nation will be never like you. Either they will be better than you or they will be worse than you, but they will not, they will not be like you. Do you want this destination? Do you want that Allah replace us with Russia? Who knows? Allah changed the hearts of the whole Russian people and they become the Muslims and we all are doomed. We have to unite ourselves. See our position. What's happening to us? Confusion, dichotomy, ambivalence, confusion, cognitive dissonance. We don't know where we have to go. What is our goal? Ultimate goal, we don't know. We are on the ship, which is we embarked on the ship without a sailor, without a course. And it is time for us to wake up, to do something as a Muslim Ummah. How long are we gonna see all these brutalities against Islam? How long? What thing gonna move us? You want God to come down on this earth and talk to you? Like Christians they claimed. 